Hey, it's Dr. Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions, straightsmilesolutions.com, and I want to address midlines again with Invisalign. This could also be extrapolated to pretty much any aligner company um, in general, although there's a few pieces of IP or um, proprietary features that are only available with ClinCheck 6.0, which is an Invisalign um, brand or Invisalign um, feature that's owned by Align Technology. So I'll be talking about that. So parts of what this video is, is only going to be relevant to Invisalign. Now, of course, before I start talking about Invisalign, ClinCheck 6.0, or even anything about that, I have to give this disclaimer. You've all heard it before if you listen to my Invisalign channel. First of all, I want to clarify, a lot of you are asking me to do like an Invisalign course, you know, like Moonless or Galler or Dawson or some of these other ones that they're advertising. I have not been asked to do that, first of all. You have to be asked by Align Technology. Second of all, I don't know that I would because they make you sign all kind of stuff in order to do that. Um, Non-competes, can't say this, can't say that. Um, I've done this before with other aligner companies and I said I'd never do it again because I want my content out there to be completely unbiased, to be truthful, to speak my truth with what works for me. I don't want people telling me what in my ear what I can say and what I can't. And a lot of times I don't necessarily agree with what they're saying. And then it gets you in trouble later. And they make you sign all kinds of stuff and then they'll try to sue you later. And this has happened to me multiple times. I'm not saying with Invisalign, but with other brands like this. So... That's the reason why I don't have a course or a paid course, but that is the reason why I do put all my free content on YouTube for the moment. Um, and if it, you know, one more time, if Invisalign makes me try to take it down, then I will because ultimately, and I won't be able to have it up for you guys because I spend my own money to do this. I don't profit off these at all. You know, I mean, I do have an aligner consulting or orthodontic consulting company. Sometimes y'all come over to me and find me from there. I don't push it hard on my channel. So that is the way that I make my revenue. Um, if you think I'm smart and I know what I'm talking about, we would love to talk to you. Um, but in any case, my 300 plus um, aligner education videos are just content. You can just listen to them, read them. It might help you. It might not. Um, like I said, it costs me a lot of money to produce them, post them, edit them, um, but I don't profit on this besides the pennies I make from Google, So, which basically pays for some of my coffee per month, and that's it. So um, Invisalign, as always, if you're line technology, if you're listening to this video and you don't like it and you want it taken down, you always have the right to do that. All you have to do is have your C-suite members and you know who they are, not the people you've tried to have reach out to me before. I will not listen to them. It has to be only C-suite members need to reach out to me directly through their email. I will recognize the people and then I will remove a bit. Of course, if I remove this, I'm going to remove everything. And there's going to be a lot of really upset people who rely on this for really unbiased, low cost orthodontic education. A lot of you want to do Invisalign, but you don't want to spend five, ten thousand dollars on courses. Why should you? There's free stuff out here. It, it's actually better in my opinion. Why? Because I made it. Anyways, all right, that was my disclaimer. Let's go on to the topic at hand. Um, why I don't mess with midlines on a first clean check. And this just really goes back to, again, please, this is going to be like a much more advanced tutorial. So if you haven't watched pretty much my entire aligner playlist, which has over 300 videos. I have broken up my aligner playlists into three actually different playlists. One of them is Invisalign. The other one is non-Invisalign clear aligners like Clear Correct or Spark. Another one is White Label. So I kind of made three buckets because certain things or features that are in Invisalign are not applicable applicable in the other aligner systems. So I did my best, you know, but they're always changing. So who knows? But first of all, Invisalign has a really cool proprietary feature that, I mean, I don't say this very often when I say really cool, as in like, I'm addicted to it. I want to see it on all the cases. And as far as I know, no other aligner company have something. Now I haven't seen any cases finished yet that use this feature. So I'm like bullish about it to about a 90. Like I'm very optimistic. It seems to make sense, but until I see a bunch of cases finish and I have a lot of cases that are going, then I'll be more excited about it, but it's called smile. And it's this, it's using the in face, um, feature. If in order to use your in-face feature, you need to watch my other videos on in-face. You can search by keyword within my channel, Straight Smile Solutions, or you can go to my YouTube channel and search. If you can't find it, you can always shoot me an email and I'll send it to you. Info at straightsmilesolutions.com. And so this smile feature is going to allow you to import the wide smile photos that are taken in the Invisalign Practice app and marry it with your iTero scan so that you can have a realistic AI 
expectation of what the midline or the gums or anything like that or the tooth position will look like on the patient's face on the clin check it is mind-blowing because sometimes we're like why are we extruding those teeth or why are we intruding those teeth or why are we shifting the midline this way it just doesn't make sense so it helps me kind of predict the future using ai and it's pretty darn cool before that you know if you don't have this feature, then I recommend really not necessarily grossly messing with midlines. I mean, if your patient has a massive asymmetry and a massive AP problem, then you're going to have to kind of just think about it, but maybe not ideal it to the point of like the millimeter of IPR or whatever you're going to do. So be sure you check out this feature. And that is why I'm a big fan of always, always, always having your Invisalign be a comprehensive case, especially especially if they have midline issues, perio issues, AP issues, sagittal issues. I know I'm kind of, some of these are um, synonyms. <laughs> Transverse issues, vertical issues, open bites, deep bites. Unless they're just like a slam dunk, less than four millimeter or six millimeter crowding or spacing case with no vertical issues, no transverse issues, no sagittal issues, no AP issues. Um, then maybe you can use a different system. It doesn't have to be Invisalign, it doesn't have to be Invisalign comprehensive, but I'd still work it up within the umbrella of the comprehensive um, plan. Work it up to ideal, see what it looks like, make sure you're using this smile thing. I certainly would never do a moderate case or a light case without this feature, because I've seen people get in some major trouble, major trouble all day, all night, where they think it's gonna be okay, it looks okay, and then it was not predictable at all, and now it's gonna end up costing them way longer and way more money to fix it because they only got one refinement or you know, two refinements within 18 months or whatever, and they just can't, they can't do it. So they're having to pay extra money and the patient's mad on top of it. So it's a lose-lose. So that's why I always recommend you do all your cases unless they are like blessed by somebody who knows what they're doing as a comprehensive, not Invisalign 3, Invisalign 5 case. Just do it right, you know, take your time, do it right, and you can tackle the midlines later. You don't necessarily have to tackle the midlines on the first clinic. All right, thanks.